We're going to start clearing out these rumors. There's a lot of quests. Look at all these quests we got to do. We got rumors to deal with. We got two rumors. We have a companion quest. That shouldn't take that long. We have a secondary quest. And then we have side quests. What are the difference? What? What's the difference between a side quest, a secondary quest, and rumors? Why are they separated like that? Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. And there's more quests we haven't even activated yet, like that. That's it. You are dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. I don't know you. Still up to old tricks, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't Your mind. Your name is Elegant? I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Athenral's employ. Things have been going well since then. No complaints. Could be better. Could be worse. I often feel the same way. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for a Thenril. I'd be willing to extend you the same Ah, potions. Like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagent. And of course you'll need all right, the Alright, 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 alright. What does this do? That's expensive, though. Lives in the alienage. Something of yours, sir. You have done a great kindness in returning. Oh, I guess rumors are just easy. Please, Sir Thrask. He won't go to the Circle willingly. I am sorry for your loss, Mistress. But I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. <laughs> so it's an apostate? I'm guessing that Templar wasn't here to offer your son his good wishes. I am Ariane. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade... That's not a good him thing to have a connection dreams to. Dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I betrayed his trust. Mm. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. And those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and dallied with a human merchant, Vincento. When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf blooded human infant. Mm. I raised Fainriel myself, here in the alienage. Mm. Tell me the whole story. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent, but we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainriel still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are... I forgot the why the Circle is so bad inside. again. I know you get turned into a zombie at some point. I don't remember why, but there, you get turned into a zombie basically because you lose your emotions and stuff. What kind of dreams? I forgot why though. I don't remember. He dreams of demons. If if he fails him, something, I don't know. Him into their world. Every day it grows harder to wake him. I don't remember. That is why I turned to the circle. They are the only ones that can protect a mage. I guess that's why they're afraid. I guess magic is harder to control in this world. That's why they're so scared of mages. Abominations are always so awkward. Oh, that was a bad choice. Means. No, please, you must find him before before the demons finish their work, he must be brought to safety. If you won't do it for Fainriel, do it for Kirkwall. The Templars say a lad like my son of is course, a danger I'll to help. the whole city if left untrained. I'll bring your son back to safety. I promise. I don't know where Fainriel is gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. All right. And Fainriel's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainriel might have sought him out. Tell me about this Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages, but sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best-intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. 
There are other Templars who are much less sympathetic. You and Fainriel's father are not married. Vincento had no desire for a wife or an elf-blooded child. God. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. I have written, though, to keep him informed about his child. Fainriel wanted to meet him. All right, let's go. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. He ought to have his own life. Out from the shackles of the circle. Everyone should. My husband Wesley was a Templar. They're not all fanatics to be feared. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Greetings. Oh man. What was your wife doing? For this quest, probably best not to have Meryl. I'm hoping for the best. Probably best not to have Meryl for this. We need to talk to her though. Since we're already here. This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. That's adorable. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? People don't pay attention, usually. I can't even imagine how you do that. It's so busy here. So many things just get lost. Do you miss the Dalish? I miss her and Pival's stories. The creaking of Aravels in the breeze. The city is so busy and confusing. And the elves here are not like my clan. But I'll get used to Kirkwall in time. The Templars haven't found you, have they? I've been careful. Even among the Dalish. Keepers never work magic in public. And I think the Templars don't even see me. I'm just another elf in the alienage. Think of it like a game. You can pick up all the things people drop and overlook. Maybe count them. <laughs> I think they mostly drop garbage. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. Alright. We're gonna change party, change Meryl out. Oopsies. Here we go. Hey, Vincento. Greetings, my lady. You look like a woman who'd appreciate the finest rubies from Antiva, raising her lovely name. Yeah, you remind me of... I bring only the best Severin. northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. My lady, I'm a bachelor. I've never met a woman of sufficient beauty and charm to tie Vincento down. <laughs> I don't like him. That's the best you can do with a guard staring you in the face. Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. Perhaps you could stop jerking me around and tell me where your son is. The boy is a mage of elven blood. Do you wonder I fear for him? I do not wish to. Oh, he's not telling, telling us anything. I've never met him. That's because you've spent too much time frolicking in the woods, Daisy. Dwarves don't frolic. Dalish don't really frolic either. Not in the woods, anyway. You have sanctioned frolicking areas? No, just not in the woods. The trees get jealous. But you do frolic. Of course we do. We wouldn't be elves otherwise. <laughs> She's funny, dear. I like her. Uh, we have a quest here. Who's this? It's a Livetus. Ah, welcome, my uh, my apology. All right, Actually, he's just... if you're interested, I could use a bit of help to remedy that. <laughs> remedy that? Potions shop. <laughs> you, my good man, are priceless. The pun wasn't intentional. It's been too dangerous to leave the city. Of he's gonna ask for fight. stuff. You'll be All right. Caught. Make up a perfect. Many oh. mages resent. Right. What does he need? I remember this quest. This quest was kind of annoying, I think. Oh, we don't have any of these. Are you the Templar who is pursuing the boy Fainriel? I did not realize his name was known so widely. Perhaps you know Ariane from when she was with the Dalish. Nope. We don't all know each other. There are a lot of clans, you know. Are you a friend of his? Have you met him? What is he like? From his mother's description, he sounds much like any youngster we bring to the circle. Frightened of his gift, resentful at losing his freedom, convinced he is the one exception to our laws. Hardly someone you would wish the power to murder people with his mind. 
No young boy should have to face down demons alone. It is surprising what sympathies mages evoke. I always expect people to be more wary of their powers than touched by their struggles. If we do not find Fainriel soon, it will not matter. Either he will be taken by the demons, or by less mystical predators. And I have said more than enough on the topic. This is a Templar matter, and we will be handling it. Aveline, don't you think this matter can I like being able to system? call on friends. It does, and you Templars are spread thin to begin with. True. Sadly, there are more mages fleeing than we can easily keep up with. Then let the city guard do what we're good at. I can track the boy. There is a Templar. Former Templar, by the name of Samson. He left the order due to philosophical differences. He has been known to help mages flee Kirkwood. Ah, that, that'll if be Fenriel it. If Fenriel went to him, Samson wouldn't tell me. He stays out of sight by day, but I've seen him at night, near the entrance to Darktown. Alright, we got friendship points with everyone. That's great. Good for us. Anything else here? No. Alright, looks like we're going to Dark Town at night. Here, miss. Word is you're looking for help. And pain. Why do you have cornrows, I sir? Someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley. That is the most shady sentence. She's gonna do it? Another sad low town tale in the making. As if we needed another. Ugh. It does appear she could use some help. Especially now. Oh my god. There you go. Wipe him. Rally. Big hits. Oh, I didn't even have to use my big hit. Well, thank you for your timely intervention. I am out of my element. Yeah, but it doesn't take. Surely you didn't realize that. Five thousand IQ to know not to I step to into a to shady alley. I need someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. Yes, I will do that, but I not have right a now. Who needs passage from the city? If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. I just saved you in an alley. And suddenly we're in business? You're in Lowtown. What grand scheme could I be interrupting? I'm in the middle of a side quest. Now. Not so helpless, I see. I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. Alright, alright. Hello, Samson. What do you know? I was told my old friend Thrask was advising you folks to seek me out. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. Uh, retired? Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke dump. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the Order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who've got the dust. The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, it just about kills you. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. The demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Just looking at you, I'd say you're a man who helps anyone for the right price. What kind of price? <sighs> I don't want to threaten him. How's this? Right. The lad came to me, not a silver in his pockets. Told how much did we? Nothing how much did we just give him? Charity to a poor. I wish they would I tell see. us. I appointed him to a ship captain I know, Rainer. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week. Girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong, though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. So your good friend's a kidnapper? Can't say I'm surprised. Not a friend. Just someone who's not afraid to try this business. Rumor has it Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse. 
somewhere close to dockside. All right. You want to go look? All right. All right. All right. Fifty is a lot. Holy crap. Well, we just got three back. That's a lot. There you go. Rally. Big hits. There you go. There we go. There we go. Side. Big hit. Good hits. Good hits. Oh, we're doing good. What makes the gang so angry at night? Someone should do something about them. That's a good question, Meryl. Why are gangs so angry at night? Enemies? Bugger off! They're gonna be enemies as soon as I step out of here. I think I remember this quest. Oh my god. Oh, you have a lot of health. There you go. Get rid of this dude right now. Alright. Get rid of the weak ones. Cool. Oh, there's more. There you go. There you go. You do get results, don't you? We got a tactic slot? Get a hold of her. Oh, oh, snap. Please help me. What's this? Anyone? Get the hands. Her heart oh, wasn't in that. No help me. Hands. Whoa. Nothing of magic. What the heck is this? Abominate. Alright. There's that. There you go. Big hits. Am I berserk still? Holy crab apples. Alright. All right. There's more. There's more. There's more. Ow! Get him! All right. All right. Are we good? That poor thing. What was her name? Remember her off. Where were they taking her? You can see my secret. I'm a child no longer. I'm gonna burden you my whole life. Less my secret. Destroy us both. This is the dude I was talking about. This is the dude we saw earlier. I was like, oh, this Danzig guy must be important. Alright. He's just here, waiting. Alright, let's do this. Why, look here, boys. Volunteers. Clap him in irons and let's see what the Tavintas will pay for him. I just want to talk. Answer my questions, and I won't trouble you about this little operation. You die now, there won't be any trouble at all. You're adorable. Shut this bitch up. You're adorable. Berserk! Sweet. Big hit! I didn't get to use my big hit! Big hit! I'm out of stamina. There we go. Big hit. Rally. There we go. On him. There we go. There's got to be something. 
something here that shows where he shipped Fainrail. After the wounded coast. Wow, this is taking a while. That's near the injured cliffs. Or the limping hills. Massive hedge trauma bay. Here we go. Take one more step and the boy dies. Tell this dirtbag who we are. If I were you, I wouldn't be threatening the Viscount's son. What? Oh, I suppose you just got a tip from a slaver that he was selling mage flesh cheap. You never <laughs> thought to ask where he got it? You never wondered if you were buying the Viscount's well-known love child from his elven mistress. The boy he swore to protect, even if it meant raising the entire free marches? I seek no war with the free marches. Take the lad to his father. You're too kind. Hand him over then, if you're serious. This was the price set on the boy. Please accept it as an offer of peace. I don't like letting these slavers loose. Who are you? Are you working for the Templars? Your mother sent me. Huh. Hardly a difference. I can't believe her. My whole life it was all, I'll love you Varric was 100% lying, then right? I have some bad dreams and it's off to the Templars. I'm here to help you, Fainrail. Why? You don't even know me. I've spent my whole life protecting my sister from exactly what you fear. Would... Is there any chance you'd help me reach the Dalish? That's where I was trying to go. See if they'd take me in. I'm as much Dalish as human. Oh my god, I actually don't know. Is it good to, to send him to the Dalish? Alright, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him to the Dalish. You don't whittle down those ears. They're apt to shoot you on sight. I'd rather be killed by the Dalish than turn tranquil by Templars. Tranquil, Look, that's what they're I called. I know it's different in other kingdoms, but here, no one helps circle mages. Anything the Templars don't like, you get the brand. The Dalish. They've had magic forever. They could teach me. I won't be a danger, I swear. It would be your humanity that marks you among the people, not your magic. But I think they will take you. If there was another way, the Circle would know it. Do what you think is best. Uh, at least if you go nuts out with the Elves, you won't be killing any of us. Thank you. I did not. In my wildest dreams, I could not have foreseen this. Thank the Creators, you were the one my mother hired to find me. I will forever... I, this is what I wanted to pick anyways. I feel like this is the best option. I don't trust the Circle. Whatever their difference is, his mother deserves to know he's alive. I don't like the Circle. Aveline did not like that. Aveline can suck it for all I care. I'm not gonna send him to go with the circle. The circle sucks. I have seen firsthand how the circle operates. I chose the mage origin in Origins. That place sucked. Ariani! How you doing? Your son decided he'd rather be an elf than a Templar prisoner. He joined the Dalish. What? But he is human. They did not even wish me to raise him among them. But they do value magic more than the men of Kirkwall. Perhaps he can have both safety and freedom. Yes. As I said, I have little money. But this is a Dalish ring that has been in my family for generations. Please accept it with my thanks. Awesome. All right. We got a ring. This is going to be sad. We have found neither hide nor hair of the lad, Fainreel. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I have a letter for you. I found this. I'm it not telling him where Fainreel is. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then... You know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainreel wished to hide. See, that's exactly why I'm not telling him where Fainreel so is. For Olivia. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the Templars finding out anymore. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her name. Evelyn is so I funny. She's literally a cop. But they all seem to approve of that.
Alright.